Hi guys, welcome back to Violating Community Ooh, Guidelines. Community Guidelines with Sarah and Brittany. Brittany's currently eating, so I was gonna mm. do it. Mm. Can you swallow? <laughs> Can you swallow? Yeah, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but today we're gonna be talking about deep fakes. Oh yeah! Hell yeah. If you don't know what deep fakes are, Brittany, once she's done eating, is gonna read about it. Alright guys, welcome back to the Violating Community Guidelines <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so Deep fakes is something that has always interested me mm-hmm. online because it's this thing of like the trap that our parents fall into. Yeah. Like, well, I saw it online. It's real. Tell me that's not da da da. Yeah. And it's like trying to understand the concept of a deep fake or explain it to someone who's like 70, you just can't do it. Yeah. So we're going to do our best to explain it to you, little dodo birds listening to this pod. So a deep fake is one of Sarah's favorite words, a portmanteau. It's not a portmanteau because it's two separate words. It's pretty close, though. All right, let me do this again. A portmanteau right. is a combination of two words, like breakfast and lunch, to make brunch. Deep fakes is a quote-unquote portmanteau of deep learning and fake, So, but it's deep fakes, which is two words. Now, if I'm wrong, this is going to be humiliating because that is my favorite word. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's personally... I personally don't think it's a portmanteau. It is a combination of two words, though. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I think if that's the hill you're going to die on, then mm-hmm. die. Yeah, they're just wrong. Okay. Okay. Anyway, a deep fake is a portmanteau of deep learning and fake. Mm-hmm. Deep fakes are synthetic media in which a person in an existing image or video is replaced with someone else's likeness. So that would be like if you're taking a video of Sarah, but my face is on her face and it looks like it's actually me. Yeah. That's a deep fake. While the act of faking content is not new, deep fakes leverage powerful techniques from machine learning and artificial intelligence to manipulate or generate visual and audio content with a high potential to deceive, mm-hmm. aka anyone over the age of 25, I would say. Yeah. Have you ever seen those like videos where it's like a large skeleton like like walking across like <laughs> yes. Las Vegas? Yes. I love the replies because all the old people are like, is this real? <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah, dude. Or like the captions, like, what would you do if this happened? It's like a fucking 200 feet tall skeleton. I'd be like, I'd lock my front door. I don't know. Probably like die if they stepped on me. I really, I couldn't do shit. Uh, Someone replied and said things would be different if I was (laughs) there. I would not have let him do that. This is why America needs guns. Caucasian James tweeted today and said it was a picture of him in an airplane with the view down. And it looked very much like that video. Yeah. He said, no skeleton. I'll keep my eyes peeled. (laughs) Shut the fuck up, James. (laughs) So I do want to show an example. This is a very famous example of a Tom Cruise deepfake. Wait, pause it. For everyone listening at home, this person is not actually Tom Cruise, but they've Mm. edited Tom Cruise's face onto this guy. And he's acting like Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise is crazy enough that you're like, okay, this is Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I know Tom Cruise. (laughs) If I know Tom Cruise, this is him. This is so classic Tom Cruise. We're going to watch it. It really does look like him, though. It does. Let me put the sound on, because it sounds like him, too. It's scary. It really is. But I don't... His body looks too young. He looks like he's on, like, a frat guy's body. And there's a a certain thing where... I don't know if this is just because I've been online for too long, but, like, I can tell the eyes blink a little slower than a normal human eye. The mouth is incredibly accurate because it's Tom, Tom Cruise has a very specific mouth. Uh-huh. But it's things like that where you can kind of tell around the edges that it's yeah. been, it, it is not his real face. Versus like, if my 75-year-old Vietnam veteran grandfather sat down, he'd be like, why is Tom Cruise talking like that? I love funny? his movies. I love his movies. <laughs> I love how he's a Scientologist. So cool. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like when we talked about AI influencers. Mm-hmm. Um, they like, there's something slightly off about them, but I yeah. feel like any older person like over 40 would look at him and be like, look at that little Michaela. Yeah. So wholesome. She hasn't aged in fucking five years. Yeah. She, you're my favorite influencer. <laughs> I well, love you. It, so it goes both ways. Yeah. You either are in that age gap. Age crap? Age crap. Age crap. I'll yeah. start again. You're in that age gap where you know yeah. because you're old enough to realize that everything you see online isn't real or you're being deceived in some. Usually when I see something online, it's like, I'm probably being deceived. Yeah. Or you're too young to where you're like, Tom, I love Tom Cruise. Yeah. I. It's kind of funny how like your parents are always told you like, don't believe everything you read online. And then suddenly like in the past five years, they just believe everything that they read online. Yeah. So do I. <laughs> yeah. And I get into cars with strangers. <laughs> yes. Well, Uber, you know. Yeah, exactly. I love getting into strangers' cars. I let strangers come into my apartment building and give me food. Wait, we live together. <laughs> oh, they don't. They come inside. Yeah. 
You don't. They don't leave it at the door. They leave. I don't let them in the apartment. Okay, but it, oh, you mean like in the I gate? I break bread with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I let them to the front door of the apartment building. You get like two orders so they can eat well, like as well. Yeah, and get two chopsticks. <laughs> yes, it's you and me, dude. I ordered from the Italian place across the street, and I didn't realize that it was right across the street. Such a waste of money. I watched the Postmates guy walk from across the street to me. It was literally sixty <laughs> feet, and I gave him like twenty bucks, and he was like, "You know, it's like right there." And I was like, "I." Uh, yeah, I saw it when you walked in. Yeah, I just wanted to watch you. <laughs> I just, it was, um, my feet hurt, you yeah. know? I'm an idiot. Yeah. But deep fakes, yes. Um, the main machine learning methods used to create deep fakes are based on deep learning and involve training gener- generative neural network architectures. Which, do we know what deep learning is? I don't know what half of these words mean. Yeah. Oh, help, help, help. <laughs> I imagine deep learning is like distance learning, except you're underground. Deep, lear- <laughs> deep learning is when you just like make this face. Uh-huh. And it's really philosophical. Mm-hmm. Deep learning is a part of a broader <laughs> family of machine learning methods. So it's like machines teaching themselves things. Yeah. Very much AI. Yeah. Um, it's based on artificial neural networks with representation learning. It can be supervised, semi-supervised, or unsupervised. So it's that mixed with just trolling people. Wait a second. Where are you in I this? just did a fat Google search. Oh, you oh, so you're going off script. I'm going off script. I thought you were just like coming up with that out of like oh, I was like, "Oh my god, Brittany's so smart." Well, I am smart, <laughs> but not in that way. Ask me about fan fiction. Yeah. Um so deep fake <laughs> that's how you're smart. Deep fakes are videos in which the subject is face swap like we said. Um the practice was created by Redditor Deep Fakes who launched a dedicated subreddit to share the videos in November of 2017. It started in autumn of 2017. I love autumn. Um It's a great word. The, yeah, the word instead of fall. Mm-hmm. Um when an anonymous Reddit user uploaded several adult videos on the internet under the pseudonym Deep Fakes, among the first were adult videos starring Hollywood actresses like Gal Gadot, Emma Watson, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift and Scarlett Johansson. Kind of scary. Yeah, but also, like, I I don't see any of these people, like, making a sex tape. So, like, obviously it would be fake, but also it's, like, kind of, well, actually very invasive, you know? Incredibly invasive. And, yeah. again, back to the point of, like, you can't tell yeah. people, like, this isn't me. It's, like, clearly your face. Mm-hmm. It's actually so scary. I'm freaking myself out. I feel like this is why I would want to get, like, very unique tattoos and, like, my inner thigh or, like, mm-hmm. under my armpit. So, like, if there was a deep fake, I'd be like, no, I have a goat on my asshole. I have a tattoo that says, help me. <laughs> <laughs> on my inner bicep. I have my social security number on my back, so this is not me. <laughs> uh, clearly not me. Yeah. I actually be kind of like sad if they like put my face on like a body that just like what if it, I don't know I couldn't like what if it was a body that was like unflattering you know like done yeah you know, for me I have even smaller boobs in the deep fake I'm like are you fucking serious seriously guys <laughs> don't me, start put me this. on fucking like uh, Kate what's her name Winslet but, no with the big yitties Katy Perry <laughs> no Kate with the big yitties uh. <sighs> Dude, this, you have to be more. Spe- Kate, there's so many Kates with Kate big boobs. Moss. Kate Moss has no boobs. Yes, she does. Kate Moss is five seven and she's like a rail thin. Kate Moss. Oh. Yeah, Kate. Kate. Katie Holmes. No. Who's Katie Holmes? Kate no. with the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna say Sydney Sweeney. No help. She was the like Kate swimsuit model who was on the cover. Uh, John and Kate plus eight. <laughs> I mean, you have big knockers after having, like, octuplets. Okay, wait, wait. Nipples Kate. swinging, touching the floor after eight kids. Kate. Kate. Famous. Middleton? No. Famous model, Kate. Kate. Upton. Yes! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, why didn't you just say that? <laughs> She's got the big yitties. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just Googled it. All right. Let's not objectify women. I would never. In the beginning of this podcast okay so history of it photo manipulation was developed in the 19th century and soon applied soon applied to motion pictures technology steadily improved during the 20th century and more on pause what 19th century yeah the 19th adult 1800s the 18 that's the 19th century yeah i thought it was the 1900s was the 19th century you're 26 i yes i'm 26 dude stop (laughs) Stop. Oh my gosh, I wrote this joke yesterday for my friend. I did a roast for my friend, um, and I was like, um, it's really sad to see a young person tragically pass. But you know, you join the ranks of other people who died at 26, like Mac Miller, um, Sharon Tate, and if we're lucky, me. And um, everyone was like, laughed, and I was like, they don't know that I'm 27, so. I have no idea, but <laughs> I I'm lying. I should have died last year. What were we talking about? Oh, I interrupted you to say that, um, to think about 
people face tuning photos in the 1800s is a really funny concept. Well, I mean, they had those people who would like die and then they wanted to capture them before like they buried them in the ground. They didn't have any pictures of them. So they'd do their makeup and they'd stand them up like yeah. they'd put a pole up their back. I wouldn't say that's photo manipulation. I'd say that's just they're dead. Fucking creepy. I, I think that's definitely photo manipulation. I'm talking about like post photo. Yeah. Like there was a you ooh. facetune someone who's like a 19th century like dead person. <laughs> Ye old family. <laughs> Great grandpa had no pores. <laughs> <laughs> Blurring and smoothing yes. someone in 1891. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how would they even edit that? Like, I f- imagine you would go right over the film. That's what I'm saying. Like, how that's crazy that it dates back to that, where someone was like, "I don't like my hair." Yeah, it's like a family photo of ha- Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> yes. like, can you just like I had to fly away? It's just. <laughs> just like <laughs> no but I, I mean that makes sense the deep fake technology has been developed by researchers at academic institutions beginning in the 1990s and later mm. by amateurs and online communities more recently the methods have been adopted by industry um, on November 2nd 2017 redditor <laughs> deep fakes created the r slash deep fake subreddit as a place to share his digitally altered sexually explicit videos in which the subject's face was swapped with a celebrity or a public figure now, who would you swap? I don't want to be disrespectful because it's going to be a woman. Who would you swap? I have a long list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then shoot. Sexualize someone. Most recently, it's Killian Murphy. Okay. The guy from Peaky Blinders. Yeah. I just, it, I wake up thinking about him, go to bed thinking about he him. He was in the movie Red Eye. That was the yeah. only movie that I've walked out of because I was too scared. <laughs> Dude, I, Red Eye is not even a horror movie, but I like saw him get stabbed in the neck and I, I with a Fuck pen. Me. So I walked out and all the seventh graders thought I was lame and they'd be correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I did a YouTube video where like, so you know that TikTok trend where like you gender swap your friends and you say yeah. if you would smash your yeah. pass. I did that with um, male celebrities who are douchebags because I was going to gender swap them and make them women because I feel bad mm. like shitting or judging women or say I'd fuck them mm. so I was so it's not even real women and it's if you like are like this is a real celebrity it's a piece of shit celebrity so I don't feel bad right I'm for, sexualizing non-existent yes women yes and that then would they, be douchebags yes can a woman be a douchebag oh yeah a, a woman can be a douchebag have you ever douched <laughs> like yeah yeah have you ever douched oh, I probably should <laughs> I don't think that they're that healthy. Can, can you help me? Do you have stuff up there that you need to get rid of? Almost assuredly. <laughs> oh, almost definitely. Can this go to Goodwill? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to douche. I think that your body can just clear out your fucking... <laughs> you call Goodwill. It's like, I, you guys take furniture and body fluids? You guys take colostomy bags. <laughs> yeah. This one's used. Lightly used colostomy bag. <laughs> well, dude, uh, that Facebook Marketplace thing, someone sent me of a lightly used um, casket. And oh, I was like, kidding. did you I dig this God. up? And also there's options to like rent caskets. And that's so bleak. <laughs> like you're like family members dead and they're like, well, you couldn't pay this month. So you got to yeah. dig up grandma. You got to di- you got to <laughs> You lower them in the ground. Oh, so sad. R.I.P. A month goes by. They didn't pay the <laughs> casket rent. They dig it up. They make you go dig yes. it up. Shake grandma out of the coffin and give it back. That is such a visceral image. Wait, actually. Okay, so you know there's like those repossession sh- like shows where yeah. they like take someone's car. <laughs> <Is that scene>? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time and a lot of U.S. dollars online shopping. And I always try to last minute scour and find a deal on those like sketchy websites that you open in another tab. It never works and I never live the bargain coupon queen fantasy that I deserve. But now, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that searches the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products, popular fashion brands, even food delivery. So let me paint this picture for you really quick. You're shopping. You're on your favorite site. You go to check out. Boom, the Honey button drops down. You swiftly, gently, and easily click it. 
apply coupons, boom, Honey searches for coupons for a few seconds, and if there's one that works, bada bing, bada boom, you've saved some cash. I recently bought some more cowgirl boots for my extensive collection because I have a problem and I don't want to talk about it, and Honey ended up saving me a good chunk of change. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I don't use, so get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash VCG. That's joinhoney.com slash VCG. Thank you. Whether it's a warm cup of coffee, basking in warm sunlight, or listening to a sexy story, pleasure is all around us. For me, it's stepping on a really crunchy leaf. With Dipsy, your sanctuary is waiting. Escape into a world where pleasure is your only priority. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and characters, no matter who you're into or what turns you on. Find stories about that intriguing coworker with a British accent. Brittany, oh my God. <laughs> I find stories about Brittany. Or hooking up with your hot yoga instructor. They even have stories designed specifically for your zodiac sign. Ooh, a Libra. It's all about balance, probably. New content is released every single week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. Dipsy also has sleep stories, wellness sessions, and now they offer written stories. I imagine sleep stories is just wet dreams, but fun. It's your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, or heat things up with your partner. What I personally love about Dipsy is that they create such an immersive experience. Also, they give me a vocabulary that I can use in my sex life, so I sound more romantic and hot. (laughs) For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash VCG. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash VCG. Dipsystories.com slash VCG. That's so disrespectful. So rude. Um, <laughs> deep fake technology cannot only be used to fabricate messages and actions of others. I feel like you could just use Photoshop for like messages. But oh well, yeah, easily. Yeah, well, just an iPhone app. Mm-hmm. It's that easy. Instagram. Yeah, fucking <laughs> wide it out and yes. do a new time. But I feel like more for photo stuff. Even I don't know how to use Photoshop. Really? For like people's faces and stuff. Do you like face tune your face at all? Like when you post them? I used to. I don't anymore. Because mm-hmm. it's like you. You bitches know what I look like. I'm yeah. not just fooling anybody, bitch. If I suck in my <laughs> stomach that way, you know what I look like. I use it for my mustache because I've noticed an increasing amount of comments on like, I'm really proud of you for not being ashamed of your facial hair. And I'm like, I'm not even, you made me like too aware of it. I didn't even think it was a problem. But now yeah. like when someone's like, oh my God, that's so brave that you look like that. Yeah. I'm like, it's coming off. You know, I just have a... Do you... um. Wax? No, I used to like bleach it, but then like the makeup would get on it and it'd be brown again. I want to get it lasered off, but I don't want to have like a burnt upper lip. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just going to have to live with the facial hair. I do the little uh, micro germ blade thing. I, I want to do that, but I feel like I'd break out immediately. I don't. And I have, you breathe on me wrong and I get a rash. You literally have perfect skin. I've seen you without. I've seen you sleep in like makeup for four days and then you like <laughs> have perfect skin afterwards. It's because I don't drink dairy. Really? Yeah. I'm not kidding. That's what like cured my skin. That's right. I used to drink milk like it was fucking water. Uh-huh. And then my mom was like, you know they dye pus white. Do you know that? I didn't know that. In Did milk, your mom read that pu- on the internet? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but is it true? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's like pus and stuff in traditional whole cow's milk that you buy at the grocery store and they like put artificial dyes in it to like dye it white. Oh. It's delicious. But here's the thing. I still eat like McDonald's and I know that's just like, yeah. you know, some mud off the road. <laughs> Like deep fried. So I don't know. How about this McDonald's fish of filet? I've, I don't, I don't want to look into it. What is that? But dude, um, Taco Bell has like eggs now. (laughs) And so, um, they like fry their eggs in the bag, in the plastic bag. And they're like, this is why, like you ever, like, you're not supposed to drink water that's been sitting in your car because like the carcinogens get in your water. It's the same with like your eggs. Also, who the fuck is getting eggs at Taco Bell? You've never... <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I was the one like, please, for the love of Christ, add eggs to your fucking menu. I'm going to blow you up. You started a petition. <laughs> You're just like... But uh, the deep fakes, um, they can be used to revive deceased individuals. On October 29th, October 2020... October 29th, October... Oh, I said October twice. 
Um, 29th October 2020, Kim Kardashian posted a video of her late father, Robert Kardashian. The face in the video of Robert Kardashian was created with deep fake technology. What? I didn't know that. I uh, remember her posting that video and I was like, oh, a I, memory. I don't remember that at all. You're not caught up on Kim K lore. <laughs> I have her notifications on. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm behind? You don't fucking know me. <laughs> or her. When um, you were talking just now, I felt something swell in my stomach i'm s- about to be so hyper really? i had like a heat wave go through me it's my third red bull of the day is your third yeah. i feel so calm i'm trying to be like high energy right I'm, now i'm like i'm about to start like if you don't my, finish that can i have yeah, some? my neck's twitching a little bit it's fine okay well hopefully you don't have a heart attack would want to host this alone <laughs> that'd be really unfortunate <laughs> for me i know <laughs> just a pain finding a co-host don't die it's a whole vetting process it is it's annoying and then you have to like reacclimate the followers to like the new person and they're like i want britney back and it's like britney's not coming back she died she's in a rented casket (laughs) (laughs) you guys need to pay the rent (laughs) 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 a gofundme for my rented (laughs) casket um and in 2020 joaquin oliver oh that's a really nice name victim of the parkland shooting oh was resurrected with deep fake technology in this deep fake message, it shows Joaquin encouraging viewers to vote. There was also been deep fake resurrection of pop culture and historical figures who were murdered. For example, the member of the Beatles, John Lennon, murdered in 1980. That was so much information. That was a lot. That was a, a roller coaster of emotions I just went through. Wasn't John Lennon killed by a fan? Uh, yeah. Okay. I know you're a huge Beatles fan. I am a huge Beatles fan. He was shot in front of his home in New York City in 1980. Wasn't that Reagan? No. No. A president definitely got... Sh- oh, who is John Hinckley then? John Hinckley? The guy who shot someone. Parker, He's John right- Wilkes Booth. No, John Hinckley. He shot... Kennedy. No, no one knows who shot Kennedy. John Hinckley... I know who shot Kennedy. <laughs> the guy in the... the. Okay, wait, no, you're going to confuse Who is me. John Hinckley? John Hinckley tried to assassinate President Reagan in 1981. Okay, so it was a year later. What Gee. is up with that? Oh, yeah, he was know. trying to impress... Um, he was trying to impress, oh my God, what's that actress's name from that one show with those people? Um, Kate shit. Upton. <laughs> Jodie Foster. He tried I'm to, trying to impress Jodie Foster. Imagine trying to um, impress someone by like shooting the president. Oh God, this is going to be, we're going to be on a list. That's, that's <laughs> Yet another like, list. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, the lists are infinite. Um, I wonder... I wonder if she was impressed. All right, let's skip it. Um, Trying to assassinate a president is so lame. It's so hard. Like, it wh- is. Yeah. I would never do that. I'm just going to go on the record and say that that would not be. I'll go on the record and say I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't even try. Yeah. You know what is a crazy idea? What? The Pope Mobile having bulletproof glass. Really? First of all, why is it called the Pope Mobile? You guys made it a fucking cartoon. Because it's he's a Pope. It's a Pope. Mo- he's the Pope in just it. Just call it the Pope's car. The Pope Mobile's cute though. Why are you called Broski Nation? <laughs> Why are you called Broski? Because Broski Nation is like catchy. Because Broski Nation is fucking sick. Yeah, and Pope, Mobile- <laughs> <laughs> and Pope Mobile is like cute. He's in like a little bubble. He's kawaii. He has little like red cheeks and like <laughs> he's BTS like, ears. He's um he's like the uh fuck the the Wicked Witch of the West or like no the the Good Witch of the East. Glinda the Good Witch. Yeah, like he's the bubble person, but like the Pope. Imagine if he just like floated off. <laughs> <laughs> Pope is the bubble yes, boy. Yes. He actually is just sick and he can't go outside his car. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, probably. Um, so there are a lot of uses for deep fakes. Back to this. I love how I, we just keep going on tangents and you're like, anyway, deep fakes. Mm-hmm. Sorry. There's blackmail, obviously. If you can put someone's face on someone's body, of course, they're going to like use it for blackmail. Of course. Um, so deep fakes can be used to generate blackmail materials that falsely incriminate a victim. Oh, I wonder mm-hmm. if that's ever happened. Like in court, where they pulled up a video where like it was a deep fake. I wonder how the internet has changed court proceedings in that way. Mm-hmm. Of like, what is admissible evidence? Are iMessage screenshots evidence? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everything can be so edited. That you is, have no idea. That is true. Like you ever seen someone like hit on a celebrity on Instagram? They'll send them a message and then they'll swipe their message to be like unread and it looks like the celebrity sent it to you. Mm. So you screenshot it and it's it's like, oh my God, Doja Cat said I have huge knockers. Meanwhile, it's you just texted Doja Cat, you have huge knockers. Yeah. I think that's like a little baby version of a deep fake. Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think just juking out the audience uh-huh. is really what a deep fake is. <laughs> yes. for, for lack of better explanation, it's juking out your vulnerable, gullible audience. Mm-hmm. And then there's also porn, obviously. Many mm-hmm. deep fakes on the internet feature pornography of female celebrities. 
uh, whose likeliness is typically used without their consent. Yeah, I don't think that they would agree to it if they found out. Can I ask you a question? Yes, I will do anal. <laughs> What's up? If you're... <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on me. Yeah. If you're... If you have a crush on someone, or if you're like thirsting after someone and it's like a will they won't they situation do you ever look up porn from people that look like them um yeah that's a really sad thing like usually you'll go to like too. page 34 of Pornhub and they like kind of look like your ex and you're like from a certain angle <laughs> Melissa no <laughs> immediately pulls you out of it yeah wait no do you look up people who look like your ex or almost like you always like, really not my ex but someone that I'm like currently thirsting after I'm sorry after. that I thought that you might have been attracted to your ex <laughs> every um, ex I've had is fucking <laughs> sucked <laughs> So, like, who do you look up, like, like resemblance-wise? Well, wise? I wouldn't tell you that, would I? Well, I mean, they, they're they not the actual celebrity. Like, so who... No. You can I'll just st- type in, di- like, distinguishing characteristics. Yeah. Blue-eyed <laughs> couple. <Yes. laughs> big beard. Yeah, big you know. boobs. Big boobs. Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. They're like, Kate Upton, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> three for three for Kate Upton references. I can proudly say, though, I never look up a celebrity's nudes when they get leaked, because I feel like that's really fucked oh, up. Oh, I've never done that. I, I, hate- I imagine being in that position. Yeah. I've never. Even, I- like, I'm watching Pam and Tommy, and I have no interest in seeing the actual tape. That's so... Yeah, and Pam says she didn't even want that like yeah. to come out. She was like, I don't, this, like, it's not told the right way. But she's doing her Netflix thing. Mm-hmm. She's doing a documentary. Can't wait to watch that. Good for her. Yeah. Um, so there's like porn, like we said, many deep fakes on the internet feature pornography. Um, deep Nude was released, which used neural networks, specifically generated adversarial networks to remove clothing from images of women. Oh, dude, have you seen um, like the website where it like gets pictures of celebrities' feet? And no. it like ranks your feet. Wait, yes, I have. Yeah, because um, <laughs> my friend um, uh, was it Jack Martin? Yeah. Who did that? Dude, it's your friend. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, you follow him, too. Yeah. Does... I don't know. I think he did that. He was like, yes, made it on celeb feet. Oh, really? It was like, I... it was like an accomplishment. I think you can get your like feet ranked. No, see, that would be demeaning. You recently posted a TikTok of your feed, and I was like, Brittany, no, someone's going to jack off to this. I should be charging money. I you should. You really should. But above, first and foremost, I am of the people and for the people. <laughs> yes. I am the sole politician in Broski Nation. I make all the rules. I try to be a fair leader. If uh-huh. I want to show my feet for free, I'll show my feet for free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's also politics. Deep fakes have been used to misrepresent well-known politicians in videos. Ted Cruz being like, those weren't my that feet. That was a deep fake of me liking that porn on 9-11. It was a deep fake of me going to Mexico <laughs> when Texas was frozen over. Um, so in June of 2019, the United States House Intelligence Committee, they need to really shorten that, Yeah. held hearing on the potential malicious use of deep fakes to sway elections. People are really so fucking stupid. They are. Like, I mean, they're victims of misinformation, so I don't want to say, like, they're stupid, but it's still, my like, God, they're fucking idiots. Figured it. We've had Tom Cruise up here the whole time. <laughs> yes. Watch him blink and tell me that's not a, you wouldn't know that's a deep fake. It's strange. I think Tom Cruise is naturally strange, so I think this is actually quite believable. Look, do you see that? Look at his face when he puts his sunglasses on. Yeah. How do you not know that's not Tom Cruise? Well, if you don't have, like, our eyes, you know? If you don't here. have, if you don't have my <gasps> zero twenty vision... Yeah. Yeah. What's your prescription? Do you wear glasses? I am nearsighted. Okay. Do you wear glasses? So what's your... I don't know my prescription. I do wear glasses. Okay. Only to see really far away when I'm driving. Wait. So nearsighted is when you can't see far away? Yes. So why is it... Shouldn't that be farsighted? Like when you can't no, see far... No, because I can't see far away. This is doesn't make sense like the 18th century is the 1900s. <clears throat> but it does if you think about it. It does... Okay. It does. So hear me out. I'm nearsighted, which means I can see near me. Uh-huh. I'm not farsighted because I can't see far away. But I would just assume if I heard nearsighted, I'd be like, they can only see near them. Which is true. Yeah. What about like medium sighted? Medium sighted is, uh, if I can figure it out. <laughs> you can only <laughs> see it. Like, yes. <laughs> you to hold everything this far away. Peripheral sighted, you're like a horse. <laughs> your glasses just like force your eyes to go straight forward. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm horse sighted. <laughs> yes. What is that? Can you drive? Not legally. No, dude. Um, I went horseback riding, and horses like walk on the edge of like the cliff. There's when they go on cliffs. Uh-huh. Um, it's because they can see like literally peripherally. Can you explain to me then what a horse blinder is? A horse blinder is so they when it's to like cut off their vision because they see this way, like they see out. So they're so running blind. Yeah, they are running blind, and they're being um like steered by the person on their back. I didn't know that. Yeah, horse blinders. Horse blinders, not horse. They're blind. I guess I guess that does make sense. <laughs> so, 
I thought I thought horses have like <laughs> all right. Bear with me, okay? Because yes. in my mind, okay. I thought horses had like fly eyes. Uh huh. You know where it's like kind of a three sixty one eighty. There's like thirty six like lenses. Yes, I kind of <laughs> no, well, not okay. that, but I thought that they had a, an extended range of vision because humans can see right in front of them in a little peripheral. I thought they could see almost all around their back. Uh huh. Because how do they know when to swat the flies away on their back? Maybe they feel it. It I'm, lands on their back right, and then I'm they swat it with their. Talking myself through this. <laughs> So I thought that if you put the horse blinders on, they can still see straight ahead. Yeah. So, okay. So let me get this straight. You thought I was stupid for not knowing what farsighted meant. And you're like, what are horse blinders? You mean they're actually blind? I feel like we're both idiots. It's the... And who was the fifth president of the United States? Dude. <laughs> no. John Adams. Sure. No, 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 no. Yes, stop. as good as mine. <laughs> fifth president. John Adams deep fake. It was James Monroe, obviously. Obviously. Wait, James... No, I was thinking James Madison, because that's in Virginia. But he was also a president. There's a lot of James and Jimmys. There are. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get back to the deep fakes. Sorry, guys. Um, so it can also be used for acting. Digitally constructed altered humans have already been used in films before. Mm. And deep fakes could... Wait, is that like animation like shit? Like, well... You're not a Star Wars adult. No, because in- I'm in... Of sound mind. Well, that's fair. Okay. You are a Harry Potter adult, though. And you did spend over $500 at Legoland, no, no, so no, we no, can no, go no. off on I'm that a, in a second. I'm a Lego adult. I'm not a Harry Potter adult. I'm a, a millennial, so people are like, oh, you like Harry yeah. Potter because you grew up with Harry Potter. Uh-huh. Okay. It's it's just like, okay, keep going. Anyway. <laughs> in, in The Mandalorian, um, at the end of it, spoiler alert, um, they Luke Skywalker comes and takes Baby Yoda. Uh-huh. Complete deep fake. Because obviously Mark Hamill does not look like young Luke Skywalker from the 80s. Yeah, he's not green in real life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he comes back and it was, fr- me and my dad were like, oh my God. It, yeah. Th- they perfectly reconstructed. And from that to, um, he appears again in the Boba Fett series. It literally looks like Mark Hamill from the 1970s. It is wild. Luke Skywalker is, okay, yeah, yeah. Now I know who you're talking about. I yeah. thought that he was that guy that got um, cut in half. You know that guy who got cut in half in Star Wars? They're going to yell at you because you said that you were a Star Wars adult. Cut in half? Yeah, there's a guy in the Star Wars thing that got... Um, Darth Maul is my um, my sleep paralysis demon. But um, That's very fair. Guy in Star Wars. Death Eaters from Harry Potter are my sleep paralysis <laughs> demon. <laughs> it's just me in a cloak. <laughs> it's just you in the corner of my room. You ever like dreamt about having sex with your sleep paralysis demon? Absolutely not. I was... I would think it would like quicken, you know, the sleep paralysis. Guy in Star Wars. That would Wars. scare them away using like, come here. <laughs> I take off my shirt. They're like, no, thanks. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 It's not like that. <laughs> Who gets cut in half? Oh, my gosh. They're, everyone's going to. Darth, Darth Vader. Maul. Oh, wait. Oh. Darth Maul got cut in half. What? On a, in episode nine? <sighs> Is episode nine. Okay. No, no. The order of the. Okay. So. Yeah, you got it. The, the movies that came out in the 70s are four, five, and six. Yeah. The movies that came out in the early 2000s, one, two, and three, yeah. and then all the prequels and the other are the ones that are coming out now. Yeah, seven, eight, nine. Came Dude, out. I've only seen the second one. I mean, yeah, I've only seen the second one, the one that came out in like the 2000s, and everyone's like, that movie was shit. And I was like, I, I thought enjoyed it was it. really good. Because Anakin's hot. Yeah, I wanted them to like fuck. Like, yeah. I wanted to, well, I want, yeah, respectfully yeah. fuck. No, yeah, they're hot. But Natalie they, Portman and uh, Hayden Christensen. Yeah. Hot. Wait, aren't they, uh, weren't they siblings? No, that's Luke and Leia. Who are they? That's Luke, the guy you just Googled, Luke Skywalker, I, who's I the deep fake we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Luke Skywalker and Luke legit- Skywalker, aka the fucking protagonist of uh-huh. Star Wars for four, five, and six. Okay. Also one, two, and three. I, well, a little I, bit. Wasn't Anakin the protagonist of like. Anakin is Darth Vader. I know, but he got mean, but that, that doesn't mean like he started mean. He was the protagonist of one, two, and three. Okay. The prequels. Okay. Anyway, the technology they used in The Mandalorian <laughs> yes. and in 7, 8, and 9, in whatever capacity they used it, and in Rogue One, because okay. uh, Princess Leia passed, of and course. then Rogue One came out afterward. The actor, the actress. The uh, princess, oh, dude. Um, Carrie Fisher. Okay, yeah, yeah, Carrie Fisher. Um, all of that was in animation, uh-huh. and it was wild to see that. And as, like, the fan base, it was like, they really did it justice uh-huh. it was it was cool to see that is really cool we should do an episode on fandoms because then we can like walk did we do that already no we're gonna do one on stan culture and we should do a separate one on fandoms i well, guess i feel like stan culture is more toxic and fandoms can be like fun mm. you know and then we get to deep dive into like fandoms for like star wars and stuff like that mm. and like conventions and things like that 
We should go to a convention. We sh- like which one? Like for cosplay? I would love to do cosplay. I would love to do cosplay. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we had someone offer to make us um, full furry suits for free, which usually would be like thousands of dollars. It is. They sent me like their pricing breakdown, but they're like, "We do it for free," and I was like, "Okay, we really truly do not have the storage at our house." That's and I'm not kidding when I say that is the only thing holding me back. It really. We have like so much fucking shit everywhere. Yeah, we don't have room to store two furry heads, <laughs> paws, and tails. And so I, I told them, I was like, hey, I would be down to take them, but also we might need to donate them once we're done with them. Because I'm not we, donating mine. Well, we don't have the storage I'm for I'm going to store mine in your room. <laughs> he joins my sleep paralysis demon of Darth Maul. It's just your like, blue Darth fuck. Darth Maul and my military <laughs> persona. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I imagine like, you know, like you think someone's in your room. Oh, it's just Britney's fucking fursona. <laughs> you bring a, a girl over. <laughs> yes. What the fuck is that? Chill. That's my roommate's yes. fursuit. <laughs> Chill. Relax. Chill. Relax. I'll turn him around. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like turning around your like your stuffed animals in your bed when you're about to have sex or like putting your cat outside the door. You, your like, roommate's fursuit. Crack the, the head off and you're yeah. just like, don't look. Um, but yeah, uh, social media deepfakes have begun to <laughs> see use in popular social media platforms, notably through Zhao, a Chinese deepfake app that allows users to substitute their own faces onto the characters of scenes from films and television such as Romeo and Juliet and Game of Thrones. Wait, I wouldn't look it up because the app originally faced scrutiny over its invasive user data and privacy policy. Oh. I know, but I would love to do that. Like if I edit my face onto some like Game of Thrones sex scenes. Yeah, dude. Just for me. Well, you know? there was that trend on TikTok of people editing their face onto like maddie from euphoria Uh and all that so whatever app that was Mm -hmm. or if that was just a tiktok filter i think that's a tiktok filter but it was really really cool i want to do that if you were to edit your face on like any character in any universe what would it be you know what i'm learning so much about myself through this podcast Uh of things that i think we both have hidden for a long time like a rashes (laughs) (laughs) don't want to see what's growing on my back right now i think that I've always had an obsession with like a strong, funny, sarcastic um, male lead. Okay. And I think it's because I have always wanted to be that a little bit, uh-huh. like lean into that more masculine side. And I think that you just said that in my mind immediately was like Captain Jack Sparrow. Really? I want to see my face on Captain Jack Sparrow. I, don't, I wouldn't be a woman. Like beard and all? Yeah. Dude, I would love to be like a man for a little bit. I would... I want to do a YouTube video where we like become drag kings. Mm. That one I feel like, but like with like a real wig and like facial hair. Yeah. I feel like that'd be so fun. I love a mustache. Like I, I mean, I have I edit out my mustache. <laughs> but if but I had like, a, one, if I sometimes when I'm alone, I like put I, like mascara mustache, mascara mustache, you got mascara. It. Say it. You say it. Mascara, mascara. mustache. Mascara mustache. Now on. say it in a British accent. No, I can't even say it in an American accent. <laughs> But yeah, I like I love having like a mustache sometimes. It's really cute. Dude, Emmy has that same fantasy. Mm-hmm. She uses that filter on Instagram all the time and it's because she literally wants a mustache. I would love a mustache. She like wants a, like a Freddie Mercury stash. Yeah. That would be so yeah. So, I love that. Um it's also like fake people, deep fake photographs can be used to create sock puppets of non existent people. And this is what we were talking about the other time. Yeah. These people do not exist. There's this website where it's called These People Do Not Exist and it's just random pictures of people and you're like, Oh, it looks like this was taken from my mom's photo album from like, you know, Colonial Williamsburg. Yeah. No, that person just doesn't exist. I still can't wrap my head around that. I feel like they do exist and they're everyone's just stupid enough. You they're see like, yourself on there? <laughs> so, what the fuck? <laughs> just me from behind looking at like the, these people do not exist. <laughs> So there are... Wait, is it unethical to make porn, like deep fake porn of people who do not exist? Of course not. Okay. They don't exist. They don't have feelings. Now I don't feel bad anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Looking at anonymous porn. Yes. (laughs) So there are some controversies and concerns around deep fakes, obviously. Would you believe? Um, Audio deep fakes have been used as part of social engineering scams, fooling people into thinking they're receiving instructions from a trusted individual. (laughs) And do you know what that makes me think of? What? You ever seen the Bourne movies? Uh, no. Bourne Identity? No. Do you know the concept? Um, I know that his son gets, like, stolen. That's taken. Oh. Not Bourne Identity. Okay, no, Bourne is, like, um... Jesus Christ is Jason Bourne. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's, that's all it. I know. Yeah. So Jason Bourne is a fucking, I don't know, Google the plot. I love those movies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Matt Damon is the lead and he's so young and hot and sexy and he's like a government operative. 
and he's gone rogue and they thought he died and all this shit, whatever. Well, he went on a late night show and they did this with like some random stranger where he's in Matt Damon is in the person's ear giving them instruction. And that's a long winded explanation to what this reminds me of. I don't even remember the original point, like a deep fake voice. Yeah, audio deep fakes have been used to like they give you instructions from like a trusted individual, uh-huh. but it's fake. Oh, oh. So that's what made, that <laughs> made me think. I'm sorry, that took so long. To explain. I was thinking that someone was running a scam website with Matt Damon's voice, and you get like a call, and like you're like, "Well, Matt Damon asked me for twenty thousand dollars. My hands are tied." <laughs> Those DMs <laughs> yes. that are like, "It is me, Kanye West. <laughs> yeah, I need your credit card to make Donda three. <laughs> What's the difference between Matt Damon? No, not Matt Damon. Uh, between Jason Bourne and uh, James Bond, they're both JB. That's a good point. It's so uninspired. Jason Bourne's American. Oh, a James rogue Bond's agent. English. Yeah, yeah. They had to make an American version because we're just we need it. Um, but yeah, there's uh, credibility and authenticity is like one of the controversies through fake photos have long. Though fake photos have long been plentiful. Well, he wrote like our research assistant was like really beautifully writing today yeah, he slays i know faking motion pictures has been more difficult he fucked it up with has um and the president of <laughs> president presence of deep fakes increases the difficulty of classifying videos as genuine or not well can't you like what's the same we can't you use like the same technology as like um nfts like you know that they're Don't screenshot me that. <sighs> well i meant if you like you actually own an nft but everyone's like you can screenshot it but i imagine there's like some like workaround if you own the real nft like there's like some sure. code you know you know, like how youtube if you um you upload a video and it's like is this all your content like you can't upload more than like 30 seconds from a movie because they're mm-hmm. like gonna flag it as mm-hmm. you know warner brothers owns this so i imagine there's some sort of technology that already scans you know content to see if it's real or not or if it's yours or not so why can't we just use that same technology in court cases it would make sense yeah i feel like i feel you know what i often ponder uh-huh. is that we have no idea in you know the behind the scenes government and and court proceedings like that sort of world what sort of technology is available to them uh-huh. like we only know the bullshit we see online and yeah. like we can only extrapolate as to what's possible but like the actual shit they use like that I think about it all the time. Yeah. They I, probably do. I think they're honestly too dumb to figure it out. Mm. Because, like, you think about, like, all these crime documentaries where these cops are fumbling, bumbling idiots. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, like, they can't, they don't talk to anyone. Like, they don't cooperate. They don't do any. Like, they're stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, you can find the murderer if you just knew how to look at Instagram tag photos. <laughs> You know, I feel like that's the same. Teenage girls solving crime (laughs) online, literally. But that's actually one of the podcast topics I wanted to do. Like people online who solved crimes. Like Reddit. That would be cool. But like I I don't think they even know how to like use this properly. So yeah, I think they're actually more stupid than me. And you know what's scarier than the stupidity of people who are in power is that the pitfall. Well, the primary pitfall of deepfakes is that humanity could fall into an age in which it can no longer be determined whether a medium's content corresponds to the truth. So there will come a point where you and I can sit here and watch this video of Tom Cruise deepfake and be like, no, his sunglasses fucked it up. Or Uh like, he's blinking too slow. Those little indicators. It's going to get to a point where it's so good. We won't know. Well, why don't you just ask the person in the video if it's real or not? Are you really Tom Cruise? (laughs) Is this really Kate Upton? (laughs) It's like Tom Cruise's face on my body. <laughs> Is this really Tom Cruise? <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. He looks so feminine nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was going to make a joke about your dark hole. You just have to bring that up. <laughs> my butthole is not that dark. It's I know is- <laughs> No, but like like you know, it's like a color. It's like my bronzer shade. You know, it's not like a It's contoured. Like <laughs> it's a contoured asshole. Skinny. Do you have that? Is that why you said that? I just have a brown poop hole. <laughs> Always comes to this. Oh my gosh, dude. I have hooked up with women who have like this, their butthole is the same color as their like, the rest of their body. I'm like, no. this is so not fair. Get out of my house. <laughs> Let's turn the lights off. Not even because I'm self-conscious, but because they're too beautiful. I don't want to see that shit. Because their asshole is too the same color. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Well, it's, it's a gay thing. Okay. Um, Though fake photos have long been plentiful, fake motion pictures has been more difficult, and the presence of deep fakes increases the difficulty. You already read that. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I got flustered because I was talking about, new, like, whatever, assholes. Okay. I want to talk about examples. Okay, yeah. More so than just uh, Mr. Thomas here. Okay. So an infamous one is um, 
the Nicolas Cage videos. Mm -hmm. On January 25th, 2018, Redditor u slash derpfakes posted a video in the r slash deepfakes subreddit, a community wherein which people use a deep learning application called Fake App to replace the faces of people in videos of Andy Samberg's replaced with Nicolas Cage. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is SNL weekend update um, with... Seth Meyers or Andy and Andy Samberg, I believe, like old, like back in the day, and they put like um, they put Nicholas Cage's face on, uh, what's his face? Uh, Andy, Andy Samberg's Samberg. face, so it looks like two Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick Cage does look like someone who would have a twin. Yeah, mm-hmm. he does have a very generic, middle-aged white man face. Oh, I'm just it- not realizing. No, but he looks like he would have a, like, he bragged, like, in elementary school about having a twin. He looks like that type of person. Also, Nicolas Cage is just so memeish that it Mm -hmm. makes sense to, like, put his face on everything. Um, But, yeah, there's additionally on January 26th, Derp Fakes put Cage's head on Harrison Ford's in uh, the film Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's not loading. Is Raiders of the Lost Ark part of the Star Wars thing? Raiders of the Lost Ark is Indiana Jones. Oh, my God. Another fucking man. Okay. I love Indiana Jones. Is that that one where they run through the forest with that big ball chasing yeah. them? Okay. Dude, I'm so bad at describing movies. No. <laughs> We're like running Is it that, that one ball? actress with that one girl? <laughs> and there's like four kids that go in the sewer. Yeah. And there's like that guy. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, little lore on February. Let me get this off the screen. <laughs> Back to Tommy Cruz. <laughs> On February 7th, 2018, the r slash deepfake subreddit was banned by Reddit staff for violating the site's content policy. There we go. Let's They're go! violating community guidelines. Against involuntary pornography. Mm-hmm. Additionally, Reddit also removed the r slash fake NSFW. I was going to say involuntary pornography when I accidentally uploaded a nude to my Instagram story. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> Someone is <laughs> working a smear campaign against yes, me. Yes. You just accidentally <laughs> drunkenly uploaded a nude. Yes. R slash YouTube fakes, R slash celeb fakes, R slash doppelbanger. That's a good one. R slash face sets and R slash x ray subreddits. (laughs) They do deep fakes of medical photos. (laughs) I do not have a gross. I do not have a broken fibula. Um. A Reddit spokesperson explained the reasoning behind the new site wide restriction. Reddit strives to be a welcoming, open platform for all by trusting our users to maintain an environment that cultivates genuine conversation. You guys have done a bang up job. (laughs) That is. is, All right. The jokes write themselves. As of February 7th, 2018, we have made two updates to our site wide policy regarding involuntary porn and sexual or suggestive content involving minors. These policies were previously combined in a single rule. They will now be broken out into two distinct ones. Communities focused on this content and users who post such content will be banned from this site. Mm-hmm. So saith the Lord. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't really think of Reddit as like a really welcoming community. If I could think of one community that is <laughs> unwelcoming, uh huh, it would be the men on Reddit. Yeah, I would men it on any platform. Men on any platform, but specifically Reddit. Yeah. In high school, I was on Reddit because. I'm a connoisseur, a uh-huh. connoisseur of internet culture. Uh-huh. And I was talking to this dude who was on my mock trial team and he was describing this other girl that he was talking to and, and he was talking to his friend about it. And I was just kind of like in the room because, again, being the fat, funny girl in high school, men didn't pay attention to me. Yeah. So I was like in the room and they were talking to each other and he was like, dude, you don't get it. This girl's like hot. She's got like a banging body and she gets Reddit, dude. She gets Reddit. <laughs> so I was thinking... <laughs> It's not that hard to fucking get. <laughs> I was like, it's a simple website. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, it really is the most minor oh, dude. things. I found like something yesterday, like a lot of why guys don't think girls are funny um, or like whatever is because like guys don't think that women are smart. And yeah. to like, so like you'll see a woman like post a tweet online. It's like, I want to get into sports. Which season should I watch? And so all these men like screenshot it and they're like, look, this stupid fucking woman doesn't understand that there's different. Blah, blah. It's like guys. But it's like you under, you're, you don't even see women as smart. That's why you can't see them as funny. Right. So you, you couldn't s- possibly think of them having a, a sarcastic thought because yeah. they would have to be smart to do that. Yeah. You're just like, this woman is so profoundly stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she tweeted this. That is such a funny tweet. But sometimes I have tweeted something so fucking stupid and oh, yeah. everyone's like, this is really funny. And I'm like, yes. Yes. I totally understood that the 19th century was the 1800s. 1800- 1800- How lucky are we, though, that 
you can tweet something like that, people are like, it's funny. Yeah. And you're like, shit. <laughs> this is really good stuff. That's good, good shit. No, yeah, like um, the tweet that I tweeted a couple, like I talked about it previously, I tore my ACL sucking dick. Yep. That was a joke, but I literally thought the ACL, ACL was in your neck. So I, when I wrote it, I was like, this makes sense. Your ACL's in your fucking knee or something, or your like leg. So that was a, an unintentional joke. Yeah, so no <laughs> people were like... I don't know, because athletes always talked about like tearing the, their ACL. So I was like, I thought it was like when their helmet something. Mm. I'm d- oh, I didn't. I, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! <laughs> All right, I would like to get into some uh, visual examples of deep fakes. So mm. if you guys are listening via audio, come check us out on YouTube, because these are gonna get kind of wacky. These are gonna get largely visual. This is a deep fake of a Korean news reporter. Mm-hmm. That is not her real face. How, how have you seen her before that you would know what her real face looks like? No, but I trust Stanley because he linked it here. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this? Oh, no, is this? I don't even know what they're saying. Do you know what? <laughs> it, would you if I unmuted it? No. I, no, but I'm saying like we don't know what they're talking about. So if it's a deep fake, in, but watch her face. It looks real. This is a bad example because at least with celebrities, there's a before and after that you understand. Look, they're clearly explaining it. <laughs> it's all in Korean. I all wanna. Right. We should do like a recognizable celebrity. Here's Princess Leia. Remastered. Derp fakes. Derp fakes. There's this YouTube channel called Derp Fakes if you guys want to watch along. And they are doing a side-by-side comparison of Rogue One and then the Derp fake. So you're telling me that they superimposed her face on her face is what you're telling me because it's a side-by-side comparison of the same exact shot you know what i'll be honest i don't really know what's going on here okay guys this has been really great for everyone who's (laughs) listening at home hold on we'll find one i assume because carrie fisher died they wanted to use her a picture of her when she was younger Brittany, they can't (laughs) they can't hear us oh and then mark zuckerberg you can't but he already looks like a robot that is true. I feel like he's. I wish ne- I could keep telling you that our mission in life Sorry. is connecting people, but it isn't. We just. He looks like he's about to shit his pants. <laughs> Marks, yes. He looks like he's. He looks like he's shitting. He's literally crowning right now. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is he's always at ten centimeters. Stop it. <laughs> I know. Dude, look at his fucking- <laughs> he looks a little bit sweaty. <sighs> Mark Zuckerberg, I feel like, has never done an actual interview in his life. They've just taken a photo of him and like machines have like altered his face because that's the way that he talks. You know, he's like, I, "Hey guys, we're going to rank." <laughs> that one I kept putting on Instagram of him with the new face filters on Instagram. <laughs> yes. This one's my favorite. Keep it up, team. Good oh, work. Yeah. Oh yeah, officially, Facebook changed its name to like Meta. Yeah, Metaverse. I'm, I'm gonna go by that. You know, if you die in the Metaverse, you die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> in, well, uh, we need to do one on the metaverse too we should i've been wanting to do each platform uh-huh oh no yeah i was thinking just like twitter in general yeah tiktok like, in general that'd be great i mean we can scatter those in yeah i also want to do like concepts you know yeah. like this is um okay so we're looking at a Conan, deep no. fake <laughs> of bill Hader doing an al pacino impression okay he's on conan o'brien being interviewed Look at that. And so he did an Al Pacino impression for anyone who listening at home, and they just put Al Pacino's face on him. So when you look at the actual image, Bill Hader's impersonation of Al Pacino is like on comes out of his Al Pacino's mouth. Brittany, you're super bad at describing this to people. I'm just watching it. Sorry, it's <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy. Well, I mean, these are incredibly visual, uh-huh. so we can describe it. But it it really is freaky if you want to come come. Come take a walk on the wild side. I Come do want to. I do want to go on these YouTube videos and like comment. Is this real? Is huh? this really him? <laughs> yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> I think it's always um, the shitty ones are done where you can see the outside of the face moving differently from the like curves of the cheekbone or like if the person's gaunt, it makes them a little more fuller in the face. Things yeah. like that. I think that's interesting. It, it's almost more fun to like real like try to pick apart. Yeah. So when it gets advanced to the point where we can't do that, that's going to be really freaky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's gonna it be already sc- is. Yeah, it's really scary. Al Pacino's dead, and Al now Pacino. he's not. Wait. Yeah. He died in, like, um... <sighs> Vietnam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn it. In the war, would you believe? In the war. Yeah. In the war. Total career change. 
So we're going to wrap up soon, but I do want to talk about Fake App. Um, so on January 8th, 2018, the Deep Fake App Reddit account announced the launch of Fake App, an application described as a desktop tool for creating deep fakes. The month that r slash Fake App subreddit dedicated to discussions about the software gathered of gathered upwards of 2,500 subscribers. Wow, that's super huge. <laughs> Was that a fart? It almost could have been. <laughs> <laughs> on February 16, 2018, Reddit banned r slash fake app subreddit, leaving a notice that it had been banned for violating their policy against involuntary pornography. Two and that, more of the same of the other, it, the big banning that happened on Reddit. Isn't it crazy that we have this technology, like you can swap out someone's face and a majority of it is just like porn. Yeah. We like create these like... <laughs> just life altering technology. Yeah. And we're like porn. What if they were fucking each other? <laughs> it's like... What if we put it on somewhere else's face and look like they were fucking somebody? <laughs> we put a man on the moon, <laughs> and now we're backtracking. We're putting our face on Scarlett Johansson's fucking body, and then people are watching a fake Scarlett getting fucked. I think that is the dichotomy of man, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful, and you can't have one without the other. What it, dichotomy means? Two. Yeah, it means two, but like, what is it like? It's like flip sides of a coin. Okay, so two. You can you put a man on the moon, but you gotta. Make a deep fake of you as Scarlett Johansson. Okay. I think I understand. I think I, wait, wait, I'm going to look this up now. <laughs> Dichotomy. No, I know. Di you can't just, you, just because you keep. <laughs> Let me say it again. That's like that thing of when someone clearly doesn't speak English and then idiots are like just speaking louder at them. Yeah, yeah. It's like that it's not, it's not helping, not helping at all. Dichotomy, a division or contrast between two things. Okay, I think I understand. I understand like two sides of the coin, but you That's know, like literally a dichotomy of man is like look at how starkly different man can be. Okay, I think I understand now. Who's the fifth president, by the way? Uh, James. Yeah. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> James uh, Madison. I no Monroe, but fuck, close. Fuck, See, fuck, shit. We just discussed this. Okay. Well, I think that's been great. Really yeah. fun. Oh, this is a good one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I didn't. Um, no, I did, really didn't. Are you going to go? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off of so much caffeine, my heart's pumping irregularly. I need more caffeine because I'm just focused on learning right now. Mm. My Adderall hasn't like worn off yet, and now I'm just like really interested in what you're saying. Okay. Usually, to make the conversation flow, I have to be half listening to you. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, because there's just so much information to take in. Sure. And I can, okay, I'm, no, I'm sorry for insulting you. It's okay. All you right. insulted me? No, I just called you a cunt. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. I didn't insult you. Okay. All right, guys. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Violating, Violating Community, Community Guidelines. Guidelines. And if you would like to subscribe to us on YouTube, YouTube Apple Podcasts, Podcasts Spotify, Spotify, Google, uh, Android, fuck, fuck you podcasts. <laughs> I don't think Google. Okay, guy, don't be mean to people with Androids. I'm not. My They're family has Androids. Loyal. I know people with Androids. I, I can say know that. People with I can. <laughs> hey, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um. Yeah, guys, rate us five stars. Leave us a little funny review. Mm -hmm. Tell us a horrifying medical story of yours in the podcast reviews. Yeah, and let us know if your butthole is dark or not. Let's normalize dark buttholes. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening. I'm glad. Love you very much. Love you.